Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Had a pretty awful run last time, if I remember correctly. I believe that was the run where I got lard and then like two or one speed down pill. Got a lot of base damage, but it was a little bit too little too late, you know? Let's play as... let's play as Kane this time, because I think my last two runs have gone Judas and Isaac, respectively. So we'll try to get back in the game here. Kane starts with good base speed, which is nice, and I'm gonna learn my lesson, potentially, about lard. I mean, the thing is, like, lard, I feel, is such a good item to get in the early game, because you can leverage that into early deals with the devil. Unfortunately, uh, you know, you, n you never expect to get lard followed by a speed down pill, but I, it's the kind of thing that's happened to me, like, more than once in this game. And one of the reasons that I think, you know, the game really does roll on a troll engine. They should, if, if that engine doesn't exist, someone should develop it. It's like, just play to the, the biggest weaknesses that a character is facing at, at any specific time and just continue like harping on that. But anyway, we're gonna continue here, found the item room, boss room, and shop. Oh, and a sweet little triumvirate here. We got Max's head, which is a damage upgrade. Can't complain about getting that right off the bat. And I think we have basically no more need to explore, so we might as well just go directly into this boss fight with Famine. Alright, so we're gonna get a cube of meat here, which is, you know, not the greatest item you can get. I've kinda soured on Meat Boy a little bit, like, level 3 Meat Boy is almost a detriment as opposed to, uh, a, a bonus at this point in my, my Binding of Isaac career. I was hoping that Grandfather Fly would die before we got into this phase, but it's okay. And just take him out, two more hits on Famine. Maybe one or two more now. Oh, I almost got hit there. Alright, well I would say that was a pretty good basement par one floor. Less than two minutes and didn't get any damage at all. Uh, and I got increased damage, which is nice. Very nearly got tagged by a hopper there, which is always embarrassing, man, because like... With like 120 hours into Isaac, you shouldn't be getting hit by hoppers anymore. It's an unwritten rule of Isaacing. Let's take out Champion Grandfather Fly. He's going to take three hits, which is crazy. It's weird to get uh, Max's head two runs in one, or two runs in a row. I should have moved that bomb towards that uh, tinted rock. Uh, because it, it, Max's head seems like one of those items that, for me at least, has been pretty rare. Like, I've probably gotten it like, oh, why did I dodge right into that? Oh well, there's health on, on the screen anyway. Uh, I've probably gotten it like once every like 20 runs maybe, tops. It's an item you don't see all that often. There we go, fucking finally. There's our bomb. Use it to get the tinted rock, which will give us... Two spirit hearts, nothing to complain about there. Definitely gonna pop open this chest, not sure how I feel about getting a pill there, but it is only the basement part two, so our mob trap room should be reasonably easy. Although, you know, Grandfather Flies, nothing to sneeze at this early on in the game. Apparently they take two hits each for me, so Max's head is not giving me the damage boost that I necessarily want. Let's keep it up here, we got some of these guys. Don't see this enemy too often, I think. Eh, maybe that's not fair. I think it's one of those enemies that like only shows up in the basement though. Like after after the basement we almost never see them. Let's take the pill. Awesome. Tears up is a nice pickup. We'll make our way around the X fire here. Hopefully pick up. I would love like uh, a 10 bomb item. Or even a 5 bomb item. Oh, that was so stupid. Like typically Wrath will give you an, an item related to bombs. Or he'll drop like 6 bombs himself when he dies. Well, you know, two, six, same difference, really, right? Can't believe I have lost one of those spirit hearts already just by being a, a dumb idiot, basically. That's okay, we got two bombs now, we can find the secret room, potentially. Still haven't gone to the item room on this floor, so we got some, you know, potential improvements still to come. And we have no spacebar item, so basically any, any item from the item room is welcome, even if some of them are, are bad. For example, like a, a mom's pad. Useful? Yes. Because I don't have a spacebar item, so technically, in the strictest sense of the word, or the loosest sense of the word, I should say, Mom's pad would be useful. Realistically, probably not, but anyway. Let's pop open this right here. Sometimes, you know, art imitates life. I will use a bomb to get to this chest. Usually worth a bomb for a chest. This may not be one of those cases. Alright, Telepills did basically nothing for us there. We may as well explore the remainder of the floor here. Which is not very much. And you never know, we could get some kind of drop here. Bomb for a key is not worth it at this point, unless there's like an insane item trapped in the poop here somewhere. Which I probably cannot get. Hmm. And actually, that was kind of cool. Like, I could shoot this poop, and I could shoot this poop. But I couldn't shoot the other ones, because I think Kane only shoots tears out of his right eye. 
because of the eye patch. That's kind of a neat touch that I've never noticed before. But anyway, we do have Mom's bra for this boss fight, which is, you know, not good at all, but we'll deal with the, well, the cards that were dealt, right? Kind of forgot how that expression goes. So we'll pop that right away. Uh, that'll cause it to freeze in place, which I guess is nice. We're fighting against Gemini, which should be easy enough because I have, you know, reasonable speed. Wow. All right. Uh, Mom's bra actually worked really well there. I didn't expect that. I mean, it's not like we're going to have too much problem, or we would have had too many problems with this boss fight anyway. But it's always nice when you can get something that helps you out with the boss like that. Maybe Mom's bra isn't as bad as I thought it was. There's an HP upgrade for us. No deal with the devil, sadly, because I guess I took a little bit too much damage. That's fine. Hopefully we'll come across one soon. Been a while since I had a brimstone run, I gotta say. Mom's knife appeared about a like, hundred times in a row. But brimstone has been strangely absent. It did appear in one of the deal with the devil rooms. Uh, I think maybe in like my Judas run, but I only had one heart, so I couldn't pick it up anyway. Mom's bra is recharged. It's, I, I kind of don't even know the effect. I guess, I guess Mom's bra freezes them. I think it's Mom's pad that makes them run away. Well, if that's the case, then Mom's bra is actually not horrible. But obviously, uh, definitely not one of the best space bar items as well. The fact that it recharges once every three rooms is pretty good, though. I mean, that against a lot of bosses, that can make this pretty effective. So if nothing else, this video has already enlightened me to the potential power, or the un underestimate that I had, anyway, of Mom's bra. Well, there is our boss fight. I will fight the boss right away. Despite not going to the item room yet. The uh, reason for that, of course, is that if I don't take very much damage, I could potentially get a deal with the devil. And Mom's bra's recharged anyway, so let's do it. Alright, well, we are going to get our second cube of meat, which is cool, I guess. You know, definitely a, a straight upgrade from 1 to 2. Uh, but level 3 Meat Boy doesn't really appeal to me as much as it used to. Used to be a game breaker, man. Like, that used to be, oh, I got level 3 Meat Boy? This is the only way I can beat Mom now. Back when I thought Mom was the final boss. My, how things change. Here we go, we got our cube of meat, we do get a deal with the devil. Come on, Brimstone. <laughs> Mom's knife! It's funny, right? Um, I could take the nail as well. Should be funny, but I'm gonna go with Mom's knife. I mean, I realize there's always people in the comments that are like, It's not funny to see you get Mom's knife every run. Well, okay, first off, Isaac is all about randomness. I have base- oh, come on, how did I take damage there? I have no control over what items appear, only what items I take. And I'm not going to take an item that's, you know, going to put me in a position, or I, I should say, I'm not going to not take an item that may end up, like, biting me in the ass in the long run. And Mom's Knife, I think, is still pretty fun to watch. Uh, I'm not going to take the Razor. I'm going to stick with the Mom's Bra here. It's been treating me well. I mean, it's going to work well in conjunction with, um, with Mom's Knife, because I can just freeze people and then, like, basically just walk into them with a knife, and they should go down. Lickety Split. Lickety Split is always, like, people say it. Like, eight-year-olds say it, but it's, it seems really gross to me. Lickety split? Just conjures all sorts of, like, bad images. Like, I don't know. A, a, the worst-tasting Dairy Queen Blizzard you could possibly imagine. Let's see what we got in here. Again. Oh, Chessception gives me the skeleton key. I, at first, I was disappointed. But now, I ain't even mad. Getting 99 keys is awesome. So, we're starting to amass these, uh... Upgrades. Now, this is a perfect example of what I mean when I say, you know, once you have one advantage, keep pressing it. So we got that advantage in terms of Mom's knife, and now we're going to keep pressing it. That gives us the skeleton key, and now we can open every chest that we come across, every door that we come across. No worries about, like, losing out on a, an item room or a shop or something. Ah, I thought that would hit. Maybe I could use, like, a range up. I'm not even sure if those apply with Mom's knife. Tarot card is the chariots, which gives us unicorn horn. Uh, how many? I can play this at least a couple of times. I know that. Wow, six cents from them. We might actually be able to get enough hearts to... Oh, I can't actually use that one. All right, let's... We can play it one more time. Actually, we can play it at least two more times. All right, now, just don't walk into it by accident, you big dummy. Now, we have enough money to go to the shop. Uh, and we definitely have enough hearts to at least replenish ourselves, provided I can get to them. Which I probably should have checked on first. Oh, wow, okay. So we'll first pick up that, and then we'll see if we got, like, a half heart in here. That's another full heart. Okay, so we can do a lot of playing here. I don't want to get full health just yet. Okay, so we have three full hearts. Gotta do some math here. Well, I'll just play until I get down to half a heart, I guess. Which is gonna be another two. Hopefully I get the blood back, so I don't have to worry about this too much more. And I want to sort this out before I go to the shop, because if we, end, if we run into, um... What's that jerk's name? Uh, greed. If we run into greed in the shop, then we're gonna have some problems. 
So we'll pick up one heart. Go back and play this two times. And we'll just rinse and repeat that. And that should give me, you know, a decent chance of getting to the blood bank. Or the blood bag, I should say. That health up is valuable right now because we have a lot of damage. A ton of money, anyway. Lots of keys. Oh, come on, game. And I can repeat this. I can get, like, this one heart, then play it one more time. I think is the way that I want this to go. This, yeah, okay. I think I'm pretty sure I've, I've done the math properly here. And if this doesn't pay out, I will be incredibly surprised. So now we will play the Blood Bank one more time. Get that heart. Maybe go to the shop. Actually, you know what? I'll, go, I'll, I'll risk it. I'll go to the shop because I have the chariot anyway. Alright, there's one cent. Let's see what we got in the shop here. Book of Revelations is huge right now. Definitely pick that up. Uh, pretty sure I have basically no chance of failure now. Alright, so I bought a heart. Which means we'll be able to play the Blood Bank two more times. Seriously? Fuck it, one more time. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Who dares wins? Of course, that also could have left me in a pretty bad spot. Although I knew that there was this heart remaining over here in the boss room, so we're okay. Okay, that was a really good Caves Part 1. Took us a long time, uh, but we got Mom's Knife and Book of Revelations. And the second cube of meat, actually, which is, you know, not to be understated, especially when you have an item like Mom's Knife. Which, uh, you know, requires some mobility and isn't exactly the best for crowd control all the time. For example, that would have been awesome for cube of meat to, uh, or for our Super Meat Boy there to actually shoot that silkworm before he got to me. But I guess beggars can't be choosers, I can't complain too hard about the items that I've been dealt so far. So we got in here, that is speed plus range, or speed plus damage, okay, I'll take it. Speed, usually a good pickup when you got Mom's Knife. Man, I've been getting uh, a lot of syringes lately. In particular, like it used to be like Poison Touch. If there's a syringe, there's an 80% chance it's Poison Touch. But now, uh, it seems like I've been getting Poison Touch less and less. I haven't fought, fought Lust really in a long time. And Lust is, uh, you know, one of the primary suppliers of Poison Touch into the market. But I pref definitely prefer the other syringes most of the time. Alright, so there's Retarded Pills, not a big deal. We have the Chariot still, which will be really useful against the boss, now that we have lost um, Mom's Bra, obviously. Dead Bird is kind of an interesting item to get. Basically turn it's turning us into a super-powered version of Eve right now, if only I'd picked up the Razor before. I guess the Razor isn't technically an Eve item, but it always feels like one to me. Maybe because of Ed McMillan saying, like, he likes those items, he likes Eve and he likes those items that, uh, you know, you require, you have to do damage to yourself to basically give yourself the greatest chance of victory. Unique style of playing, uh, but you know, with all due respect, I humbly disagree. So let's make our way down and around. Take out those guys in one hit, which is awesome, because those are probably my least favorite enemy on the caves. Just get them. Again, I'm never sure, and I never check the wiki, which is, I'm bad about, but I, if, if the damage upgrades affect Mom's Knife, I have a feeling that they do. But it also kind of feels like, like even base damage Mom's Knife is like enough to kill pretty much everything. There's B-Rev and a Blood Bank, uh, which could be interesting. You know, it's probably, even though I don't have 15 cents, it's probably worth it for me to go to the shop just to like... I, I, the reason being I have 99 keys. So if Greed is in there, that's actually good for me because I can pick up enough money to go to the shop next time. We do have a, at least two Blood Bank potentials on this floor. One in the arcade and one from that card, obviously. But I have no, well, uh, no drops, sadly enough. Um, let's play the boss first, and then we'll, we'll come back and maybe do some exploring, if deemed appropriate. All right. Luckily, I popped the chariot right away. And Chubb is dead. That was easy. There's another HP upgrade for us. Deal with the devil. What do you got for us? Kind of hoping for Krampus there. You know what? Almost never do that, but one heart for the, the quarter I think is okay. Considering I have Book of Revelations. Take our Hanged Man card. And... Let's go back here to the shop, because now I have 38 cents. Kind of risky. Like I, I, I hate giving up a heart container just to get a quarter. Like, just to get money that I could get anywhere else, but oh well. I think that's for the best, because I could buy a sick item in here. Like, uh, the Steam Sale first. Of course, always got to remember to do that. Then the compass. Awesome. 
Uh, no need to buy the bomb or the heart just yet, I would say. And, you know, I could play with play around with the blood bank right now, but I don't think it's really necessary. I don't think it's a good use of my time. Instead, we can just make our way on to the next room. And I can basically speedrun at this point. Uh, it would be nice to pick up the map. What do I want here? I'm going to stick with the temperance. Just in case we get a lot of heart drops next floor. We got almost none on this floor. Of course, I could go to the arcade and, and change that, but... Well, I, there's one there, but I don't think that's worth it. We'll wait until we clear out this next floor and there will be like 50. So, we do have a mini boss. Oh, wow. Don't expect two jumps right off the bat. So we do have a mini boss here. Um, I'm trying to figure out who that would be. If that's a secret room, then it would be greed for sure. Not worth picking up that key. So I don't mind fighting greed. Give us a little extra cash. Should be fairly easy to kill. And as always, like if nothing else, it's it's just another room to charge my Book of Revelations on. Okay, he is dodging like a pro right now. But no matter. So in conjunction with the Steam sale, we have a ton of potential like shop ability right now. Keeping in mind, of course, that we already fought a Greed, so we know that Greed is not going to be in the shop this time. So we can potentially pick up some killer items here. Let's go this way, because this is where the item room probably is. I may take damage here. Basically just got lucky that the uh, the nub didn't reach me. Oh, come on, meat boy. It's because he's rotating. He keeps missing the, the mark here. There we go. Uh, I've had good luck with pills so far. I guess Kane always does. I mean, that's not a great pill, but it definitely could be worse. Almost walked on the spikes there because my speed is too high. Mom's knife is making short work of LJ here. Another key that I can't possibly use. Homing bombs. I mean, the best part of this is that it's going to give us five extra bombs, which is nice for now. Say this every video. Two items that would really benefit me right now. Battery and uh, the ability to fly. But the ability to fly doesn't appear that often. Although I did get it twice in that, like, in the span of three videos a little while ago. Come on. Why you gotta dodge like that? We'll definitely open up this golden chest, because we have enough keys to make that worthwhile. And we picked up a net gain of one key. Sort of. I guess we didn't really, because... I don't want either of those items. Uh, I guess we didn't really, because we were at the ceiling anyway. But oh well. Alright, so we got another blood bank. Uh, red hearts have not been dropping at all, though. Which is kind of unusual. Usually you get a ton of those. But oh well. The bomb for us. We can maybe play that if we start amassing some red hearts. I'm guessing that maybe this red champion here will drop some. Nope, single bomb. That's actually better for me, I guess. And more keys I cannot possibly use. Book of Revelations is back. The lover's card is going to make it possible for me to play this slot machine. So let's play this four times if necessary. Book of Revelations is back. I'm going to use that for sure. Man. House always wins, right? Done very well today on those blood banks. Had to put in like, probably like six hearts to get the last one. Oh well. Hold on to this temperance card. We got the boss coming up. Another potential deal with the devil, because I don't think I've taken very much damage on this floor. If any? Not sure. Okay, well we are going to get our third level meat boy. Um, sorry about all those things I said recently, meat boy. I, I didn't mean it. You're my greatest friend on earth. War is nearly dead. There's a spirit heart, which is just kind of overkill. Cuba meat. We got brimstone. We got Ouija board. Both basically useless to us right now. Let's just head down to the depths part too. You know, no, no reason to waste more time than necessary here. So we'll start by going to the. Oh, that was bad. By going to the uh, item room, and then we'll just make our way directly to the boss. Another temperance card. That's funny. Let's uh, pop one heart into it at least. All right, so <laughs> you uh, you lose some, you win some, and I definitely won that one. Basically, uh, that room dropped a heart container for me, which is nothing to complain about. And I could use that other temperance card, I guess, now, because there's a little bit of extra health dropped. Chubb is so stupid. Like, he always has so much health at the bottom of his health bar compared to the top. Pill jar, pill bottle, not really that useful. Uh, what we will do is pick up this temperance card again, plop it down. Start playing. We can play at least like three or four times before having to worry too much about how. Alright, so let's make sure we can get back to full or nearly full health. I think we're just gonna get back to full, which is unfortunate. Well, I mean, it's fortunate that we got back to full health, but it's unfortunate that I didn't have extra hearts there with which to play this uh, Blood Bank a little bit more. But I guess 
rolling in cash right now, so I can't complain too much about that. Even when you don't win-win on the blood bank, you still win. You're still getting money for hearts. I mean, one cent for one heart is a bad trade. Really, it's something, you know. Book of Revelations is back. Health is just pouring in. Pro dodge there. Perfect. Okay, now we got the shop. We got this chest that I'm definitely going to use because I have a surplus of bombs and keys. And money. They're really done well on all three fronts there. Which is rare to have a game where you do well on all three. It seems like if you do well on, on one, you're going to do well on all three. But if you don't do well on any, well, then you won't do well on any. That kind of seems obvious, doesn't it? Emperor takes us directly to the boss. I will 100% save that. What do we got here? 9 volt. Very nice. Extra spirit heart. Book of Revelations got recharged. I'm not even sure. We might as well take the ladder. I'm not sure it's going to be useful to us at all. But we already, you know, we've, we've gone through it, so we might as well. Uh, and I'm going to play that Blood Bank back here three more times. Because three more half hearts dropped. And then we'll just move on to the boss room. Where I don't foresee myself having a problem. Ah, you know what? Uh, we can probably afford one more. <laughs> Luckiest man on earth. I just got a sixth sense sometimes for when that Blood Bank is going to pop. You know, you gotta you play the machines when they're hot. Even if you gotta crap yourself when you're sitting at a hot machine, that's what you, you gotta do it. You wanna win, don't you? I heard that I've heard stories of like particularly elderly people in Vegas. Or any quarter, sort of gambling facility where they're at a on a hot streak on a machine, so they just, you know, crap their pants when they have to go to the bathroom because don't want any shysters to sit down and, and take over their machine for them. It's about to pay out the thirty-five dollar jackpot on the nickel slots. So mom is borderline dead already. That was easy as hell. We got a speed upgrade, which is you know, kind of the opposite of my pickups last time. And then we'll just start making our way to, towards the boss. Um, you know what? Let's just skip directly to the boss on this floor. We got the Fallen, which is actually great. Uh, I mean, Skolex is good to fight because he sucks. But it's always nice to fight the Fallen as well, because you know when you succeed. Which I, I can't see myself failing here, even if I do take damage. Um, when you succeed, you're going to get a deal with the Devil item, which is obviously usually nice. Money equals power? Sure, why not? I haven't gotten that recently. And we get a deal with the Devil Room, where we get... Uh, I honestly, probably buy both of these, but I'm just going to buy one. You get Spirit Hearts when you trade with that. Um... When you get the pact, I think. Or the deal. So it was almost like I traded two regular hearts for two spirit hearts. And, of course, this is the stat upgrades. And we got money equals power, which is awesome, too, because I had all this money that otherwise was just going to be totally useless. And if Mom's Knife does indeed scale with damage, then that's an awesome pickup for us. Book of Revelations is recharged, making our way to the boss. That was super easy. Uh, I would put our chances of success at, like, 80% right now. Uh, probably higher, probably closer to like 85. So, you know, I'm not an actuary. There we go. Okay, tarot card, something useful. Emperor, that's awesome. We can just skip directly to Satan on the next floor. Wow, this is gonna be easy. Everything's coming up Millhouse here. We'll make sure to take out these lasers as soon as possible. Drop some bombs on this. Gotta be careful always when you're dropping bombs with a uh, meat boy around. Mom is already just dropping bombs continuously. And Mom's heart is dead. Awesome. Wow, this is incredible. We'll speed run directly to Satan here. <laughs> yeah, I did a wound part one to wound part three in like a minute and a half. Probably fast enough that people who just saw me beat the or uh, saw me beat Mom and were like, "There's only five minutes left in the video," are gonna be like, "Wow, how does he how does he fuck this run up? How does he die? Because there's no way he's gonna beat all these remaining floors that quickly." And I mean, I guess I shouldn't get cocky because I haven't beaten all the remaining floors yet. But it's certainly looking pretty damn good. Alright, Satan's second form is already dead. Foot is gonna die in about three hits, it looks like. I'm not even worried about the bomb flies, man. There we go. Might as well use Book of Revelations. That was a, an incredibly overpowered run. But Kane, Kane's getting back in my good books. That was a really awesome run, actually. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.